got our street and we've got a big crane. Well, a bit of it's a crane. It's not quite what the lift is, I don't know. It seems to be like a little hut. I've just been talking to him and what's the ride? It's the mole. He's just showing me how it works. It's just basically a hollow tube with the drill in the middle. And it's pushed down by a diesel machine. And the worm sort of pulls all the soil back. And it's a simple machine but makes a rugby rate oh all the way along. Well, the new Morrison's down West Street uh, is now open, so it's not taking them long, has it, to get it all up and running. It's open for business and all good to go. It's a real God for taking day, but at least it is a bit warmer. We've now we've got shuttering down here, so we've got a big hole with metal in, so obviously that's going to be concreted and reinforced. Big hole has now got bigger with bits sticking out of it. It's all fenced off. The big drill, well, you can see the movement, it is actually still drilling. It now moves a bit to. Uh, Lots of metal and plastic and things everywhere. It's a bit chaotic, but things are happening. We've got a big, uh, I don't know what you'd call it over there, probably for cementing concrete, big, like tubey things. It's very often if they're using a lot of cement, they create their own on site. Back then, you know, I've got a new sign. The road's going to be closed until the 31st of March. Still, people are ignoring it. Basically, this is what happens when you just abandon the sign because there's nobody on site. <coughs> Blowing a gale. All the barriers are down. There's sorts of bits and bobs slogging about and blowing about. You know, it really be described as dangerous, isn't it? Because these take off. It really is a windy day today. We're going across the road. The road is sort of open-ish. People are going down it, any road. Gaddar Street, it's all going down, they're having to pump the big uh, holes out and see the amount of water flowing down here. We've now we've got all the worm drilling equipment on site. You can see the pipes there. And the big machines here. At the moment it's just like the seaside, the tide's going <laughs> make them out and see the worms there that uh, actually do the drilling. A variety of different worms, sizes, etc. So we've got all sorts of equipment on, on site. So hopefully, probably by the end of the week, we might have got this uh, pipe through. I did mention next to the tanning centre that they were doing the roof. That seems to now be completed. So they are regenerating that, but it's very slow. But for God's sake, somebody do something about this tanning centre. It's been just derelict for years, right I saw. Well, there's all sorts of things going on. It's not that many things going on here, it's not clear what it is, but mainly seems to be around getting concrete and 
filling holes with concrete. We've got a concrete mixer there. Lots of people. There's a big uh, ditch there with metal in ready for concrete. Some bits of stuffing concrete there sticking up. There's lots of activity, it's just not clear exactly what's what. They're still drilling for oil. The big drills move round. So you can get a better sort of overview here. It's drilled a lot of bloody holes, this is. What are they using? It's for concrete, or whether they're going to put steels in, it's not again clear, but you can see it. It's actually drilling and bringing up all the, uh, the mud and we've got concrete mixer next to it. So at least you can see things are actually moving now. Lane has now put all the barriers back up and they're now filling in the hole they made. On the filling in the pavement. Which makes no sense. If they've got to make sure they put a road through, the pavement they're now putting in is going to get knocked down. So there's no sense in putting the pavement there. If they're then going to dig it up again and put the road in. So this is where all your council money goes. Well, at Morrison's again. And these, we mentioned them before, these deadly, look at the deadly spike on that. I know it's the kids that pull the things off, but that's no excuse, is it? We're now down to about ten of them. All the way round. All it requires is just bloody cutting the damn things. Or if somebody's injured. And the Morrison's roundabout and they've got all sorts of things. Trucks here with pipes out and it's all blocked off the roundabout and it's come right out here. So I'm causing a lot of confusion. I thought by now that they got a bit of pipe through and uh, they ought to close that end. What's happened here? Because it seems to have collapsed. So we've got a really great hole. It looks as though that was sort of unplanned and the whole thing's collapsed. Well, we are actually at Oakridge Garage, which is on West Street, corner of uh, Underwood Lane. And this has been going since Noah was a lad, literally. It's been going forever. And we're looking at the bargain today. Nice little diesel, 1.9. Lots of seats in it. Now, all these cars from Alistair come with a full MOT full valet it's got a six speed box and it's the car of the uh, the week just right for a big family and it's only 2495 so you know it's always a good deal off Fallister and if you ever get stuck, you've always got uh, the repair shop next door for all your repairs. And if this, this one isn't to your taste, then we've got plenty of others on site. So come down and take a look. And if you want to sell your car, pop in, Alistair will give you a, 
a good price. And it does, of course, take uh, trade ins on all these cars. So get yourself down to Oak Ridge. Someone's been a bit cheeky here. St Paul's Close, all these parking signs that say they will find you have all been sprayed over. Which means they can't now really take you to court because it's not clearly displayed on a sign. Drill's drilling again. Must have more holes than a flipping suit by now. Some of the concrete seems to have gone off there where they've uh, done it. Trenched there. Some of it's been concreted. Well, they're just bringing and drill back up in the depth they're going to. It's unbelievable. If they did actually hit oil, it'd be quite funny, wouldn't it? I mean, they're not going down a couple of feet, they're going down a really long way. They've got lots of cement mixes on. On site, plus the conditions against everything out, it's either pouring out with rain, snowing, or freezing. I did mention last week this for sale sign, it turns out this whole block from there to there, there's like a separate block, is all for sale, but it shouldn't affect the shops, or the shop, because the other shops are closed down, it's just the, the freehold. No release details on that. Marks and Sparks. No interest in this at all. You thought uh, that would have been the top priority to get somebody in here. Just, just looks erect, right? it's owned by somebody abroad from what I can remember. Just looking at Chester Street, that's gone to wreck there, isn't it? This shop on the corner is empty. And the pipe racks still open, all the other shops are shut. That's another wrecking ruin. And the old library's now got the uh, go ahead to be knocked down. We've got a £4.4 .4 million pound lottery grant to do it. And hoping that will be sort of summer this year. That was a nice display of flowers down here. Knocking it down is going to be interesting because it's just a matter of room, isn't it? The, uh, it's also integrated into the courts. So you've got to still get access to the courts at the same time. And you've got to get the dough as a. They're going to have to. Block one of the streets off, surely. It's certainly going to be an interesting demolition. No vandals have been here smashing up the uh, phone box. Does anybody ever use a phone box out there? The vandals have been out and about. What you'd want the hand, hand set for? I don't know. Again, outside the like Lyceum, they don't seem to have uh, done a lot other than pick the stones up. But they are starting to put stuff down now. So, whether the, uh, this is the actual stage and it's going to be concreted, so we might see some action next week. It's all marked out, all shuttered off. So. Hopefully next week we might see something happening. I mentioned New Road and nothing's really happened since last week. They have got a, a lake forming at the bottom here. We have got a couple of dozers on site. They seem to have sort of a mad half hour where they uh, will do something for a couple of days and then do nothing again for a week. They are putting the gravel down for the uh, 
round it out. 